Ah, oh, yeah, the good old light bulb. A completely outdated device for creating light that uses a ton of energy to produce actually nothing really. Well, yeah. Now, uh, today we are not going to look at a light bulb, we are going to look at something similar to a light bulb. And exactly, well, what do you think about this? This is one of these sodium lamps that you normally find in street lights, and this thing is just absolutely insane. I mean, this is the socket of the regular light bulb, but that, wow. Just in comparison to that, this thing is absolutely huge. Wow. So, but um, there's one downside. You can't just screw this lamp right into a socket and uh, be like, okay, that's gonna do it. No, you're going to need something completely different to actually get this thing to do something. And what is that, you may ask? You want to know what it takes to switch on that big lamp? That. This huge thing is necessary to power that uh, lamp. Okay then, so well, what exactly is this huge heavy white box with those things that are attached to it on the side? Well, the reason why you can't just take this uh, sodium lamp and plug it right into the power outlet I'm not sure what will happen, but I'm just gonna assume nothing will happen because uh, this needs some sort of ignition circuitry, which this huge box basically is. Yeah. That white thing here, uh, I suppose, is a capacitor. And uh, yeah. Although um, I should consider. Uh, maybe swapping that out sometime in the future because it uh, has some cracks in the plastic. Nope, that was not because it smashed the light bulb. So yeah, maybe just because the previous owner didn't store this properly or uh, whatever. So um, I'm still pretty new to these lamps. Uh, just got myself one of these because they are pretty interesting and this thing, well, it's just so Huge! You just don't don't see anything like that as a regular person. If we're going to have a, a more specific look at this, this is made by Latron, and uh, here are is its model number. And for sodium lamps, it can go up to 400 watts, and even f if that is hell again, I don't know. Uh, it's some other language. Not oh, maybe it's Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanish. And okay, okay, so that's the ignition circuit for a halogen and for um, a sodium lamp. Because, well, as you can see, um, you have to wire it up differently. Currently, I believe it's uh, wired up correctly to um, the sodium lamp. And then, well, just your regular power outlet uh, was bunched in here. The mod really done a very nice job, that guy. Uh, that doesn't look too good. Maybe I'll screw a uh, different one in. And uh, then, of course, well, the uh, two connectors that go to the lamp socket, which um, I currently don't have. So the only way we can actually go ahead and power this thing up is to making a small bodge to this. And uh, yeah. Uh, just to solder a uh, cable here on the back and maybe even solder one here in the front. But I'm a little bit scared that the high temperature of the soldering iron would uh, crack the glass. So I'll just wrap a cable around this. And yeah. Okay, so well, uh, one thing that is important uh, is, well, let's have a look at here. This is where the lamp connects to, and there's a center and uh, yeah, the outer housing uh, connector, and you have to, really have to, wire it up that way around, otherwise um, I believe it doesn't work. I'm not quite sure about that, but yeah. 
Also, I'm not quite sure how these things are really cool. There's an ignition circuitry, a capacitor, and whatever this is. Maybe it's even another capacitor, but three leads? Not quite sure. Hmm. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and do a small bodgy um, hookup to this thing. I'm just going to take a regular cable, wrap that around here, tighten it up, and plug that in the correct connector, which is this one, and just solder another cable into the center plug. I'm not gonna solder anything on here. And just for those who are curious, this is made by Radium, and it's a 400 watt super. Yeah. So, let's just have a close-up look at it. And, uh, that noise you're hearing is this metal uh, plate here. Uh, always knocking against uh, the glass and in here is our filament so that's probably I presume where the sodium is do have some blackening on the sides so um, I hope that this thing still works the owner told me it works but uh, I mean come on that uh, and also the fact that there is a little bit of corrosion going on in here. Or that could just maybe be the glue, I'm not quite sure. Because, yeah, um, the glue they use for these uh, sockets uh, is, with the color, almost identical to uh, corroded metal. Okay, well, I have wired the lamp up to the circuitry. And it's plugged in. So yeah, now first uh, I'm just gonna put out a disclaimer and just say that this is not the correct way you and that uh, you should hook up a lamp like that because well um, those metal parts are all going to be live so yeah really don't do that. So just make sure that uh, the, uh, you don't do it like that or if you're really desperate and you do it like that uh, make sure you do not come in contact with any of the metal parts or have anything conductive near this thing. Okay, so well, it's time to switch it on. It makes weird noises and uh, yeah, that is very, very bright. Let me switch the big light off. That is insanely bright. I mean, uh, wow. And it has got the classic yellow color. That these lamps have. Oh, it's it's so bright I can't even look at it. it it's wow! It's putting my whole room at uh, daylight. That is insane. Now I don't know if this lamp gets hot. It makes a quite nice sound. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. Okay. There you have it. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch that thing off because it's uh, it's insane how bright this thing is. That is just absolutely awesome. This is like bright enough for my entire room and well the color of the lamp is okay. It's, I mean it has got this yellowish tune but uh, wow. Huh. Are there supposed to be little dots like that? Yeah, that thing gets hot. So if you're gonna do it like that, um, I'd recommend... Uh, <laughs> maybe not place it on uh, something that can uh, catch fire. Because as you can see, that's uh, over 220 degrees. The security doesn't get warm, no. But that thing, wow. So I'm just gonna let this thing uh, cool down. And yeah, that's it. that thing definitely is a very cool lamp. I really like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get myself a 
real mount and socket for that, so that I don't have to do that, because, yeah, that's not a safe way to do it. And now, since, well, I have the circuitry, I can even get myself a new one. I mean, this one here is, I don't know even when it was made. Uh, is that a date code? I don't know. But, yeah, it's not new. So, yeah. Let my table get warm. but it does cool down quite fast. So, yeah. It's just insane how bright this thing is. So I'm currently outside, and if you really want to know how bright this thing is, this is a regular street lamp powered with gas. Yes, we do still have gas lamps here in Germany. I'm just gonna go over to the other side of the street. And that is my balcony. So just so you know, that's 400 watts of a sodium lamp out of my window. That is insane. Again, that is my balcony. Look at the tree. And also look at the house of the neighbors. Let's hope I don't piss them off. to know what it takes to switch on that big lamp? Hold on! 